Uh, this is made out of like a car tire with fabric. Yeah. And like there's a reflective surface here. It's very, very, very nice. Really, really nice. And only 50,000, this is really good. She's very talented. And that comes on to my question to you, like you're a young person, how old are you, sorry? I'm 21. You're 21, a young person, you're actively doing things, you're creative. What inspired you to, to do this? Um, when I was a kid, um, oh my, yeah, my, I was, I was like, I want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. Hi there Visionary family and welcome back to another one with Lady Visionary. Hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, please do go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and become part of this amazing family here on YouTube. Guys, today I am in the northern province of Rwanda and I'm here visiting an art gallery known as Inshuti Art Gallery but I don't know enough about it, so I'm going to take you guys inside with me and we can learn together. So guys, we're here. Um, as you can see, um, we've just entered a bus, um, creatively made out of metals and different things. Very artistic place. I'm loving the place already. Um, I really want you guys to learn more about this gallery. So I'm with um, Isabel, um, who's one of the staff here. So I know I've introduced you, but just let the people know who you are. Um. I'm Isabel Menib Gaide. I'm from here, I'm a Sanze. Uh, we are at Intrudy Arts. Um, I'm um, a vice manager here. And um, I'm gonna introduce what we do here. Yep. Yeah. So just tell us a bit more about Inshuti Art Gallery, when it started. Uh, it started from um, 2016. Oh, wow. Yeah. At the end of it. Okay. Um, and how has it been going? What, what does it represent? Uh, here, uh, we made paintings, uh, we made sculptures, and um, uh, we do have uh, this bus. It's a, a refreshment bus where you can sit with your friends, family, and chill here to, to take something to drink, eat. And uh, we do have a boat over there yes uh it's it, it's it is the sum of this bus yeah. yeah i really like this setup it's like so nice you know you can come here with friends or family chill and as you say yeah. just take something to drink it's it's really really nice i love it and i heard that you actually made some of these um yeah sure i made furnitures a what <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm an artist too i made uh, some tables chairs like this like this one and uh, i made some carpets oh, wow. uh, some paintings i'm still learning but i'm not professional and and yeah. yeah and painting but this is great i mean you did all of this yeah and this is actually made out of what in tiles uh -huh. and some because it's recyclable re material i think this is a tire isn't it yeah it is a tile wow wow a car tire yeah Wow, wow, this is absolutely amazing. So guys, you can see um, this place is amazing. We're going to take you around. Well, Isabel is going to take us around and show us a bit more. And you said like here, there's different arts displayed by different people. Is that from Musanzi or from Kigali or different regions? Uh, we do have different artists. Uh, there we, had, we have some from Uganda. Wow. And uh, we have uh, others from Gisenyi and Kigali and here and in Musanzi. Okay. Yeah. And you said that the owner is actually Ugandan, coming from Uganda. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, guys, we're going to take you around and let you see, you know, all the beautiful art that's displayed at Inshuti Art Gallery. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you uh, a boat I was talking about and uh, it made by Kalonji Godfrey, mm -hmm. yeah, the owner of the center. I'm gonna show you uh, what is inside and explain some, uh, some stuff started in. Okay, fantastic. I love, I love the boat, like this concept. I just love it, like stairs, stairs going up into the boat. Let's go in. Yeah. <laughs>
This is nice, this is comfortable. It looks very, very comfortable. Yeah, so I guess we c you can also bring family and friends up here. Yeah. And chill, relax, take some drinks as well. Yeah, and if you want, uh, if you want to do some party, but um, not in this season, because we are in COVID, we are not allowed to do it. Uh, but in um, another time, uh, we, do, we used to do it. Uh, like birthday party, oh, wow. show as, yeah, wow. something like that. So you that. could actually decorate it the way you want, like with yeah. balloons and things like that? Sure. Oh, wow. I love it. And it's mainly made out of um, metal and wood, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think no. so. Um, it's not a wood. Oh, it's not? Yeah, it's aluminium. Ah, okay. I see. Oh, oh, it's just like the painting effect. I see. Oh, it's really, really nice. And we used fabrics here. Uh huh. Yeah, um, as our decoration. Yeah, we d we do uh, we do want to to show many people uh, our culture. Yeah, it's nice. I really like it. Very very nice. Loving it. <laughs> so here we have um, a gorilla. Can you tell me a bit more about what this? interesting piece is made out of uh, this gorilla is made in fox and spoons um we use the uh, spoons and fox because we want to be unique yeah uh it made by kalonji godfrey the owner of the center and uh, he's very talented he made many stuffs here uh, he got an idea to use fox and spoons because he always wants to be in a uh, innovator in to be Innovative, unique yeah yeah you're like unique. No, unique I line. like it. I've never seen anything like it. It's, <laughs> it's very, very yeah, unique. Yeah, it's a unicorn. No, I love it. Okay, let's continue. Um, oh, wow. You've got um, a cyclist on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> this is creative. Yeah. And what's this made out of? It's made in, in stones. And uh, we want to show people that um, many people here used to, to use like bicycle like this one. Yeah, we want to, to respect those people because yeah. they work hard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's how we do it. I think it also showcases like the culture of Rwanda. You, as you say, many yeah. people, they use um, bicycles here in Rwanda, like transporting goods, yeah. getting from A to B. So this is like a true representation of, of Rwanda actually. Yeah. It's wow, I like it. Wow. And another interesting piece here. Elephant. Yes. What? I love it. I won't sit on it though. <laughs> so this is an elephant. Yeah, this and elephant. Wow. It made in cow tiles. Mm -hmm. And um, um, the, the one thing it has, um, there is something here. Oh. Uh, they can put in mattress inside and some lights because anybody want to to make it as a bed as a bedroom yeah. you can like what so you can actually camp here yeah sure i love it it's so, like camp, but we used a, an elephant yes. to do it. yeah oh it's amazing so yeah as she said you can you know put some foam in here a mattress and just chill out. Yeah, it's still in progress. We're gonna do it by the side. Still in progress, but it's yeah. looking amazing. I really love it. What? And did the owner design this as well? And oh, Kalonji it? Godfrey. Okay. Oh, wow, I love it. Wow, the detail. It's like, what? Absolutely love it. Okay. And my favorite animal, guys, if you did not know, my favorite animal is a giraffe. Hello! <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So here we have a giraffe. Yep. And this is made out of, is it plastic? And different plastics. Oh wow. Plastics and metals. Wow. Yeah, Godfrey uh, made this because um, he just want, uh, he, he want to, to show people that every plastic it, it has, it has to, to make it that it, that's someone which is Wonderful one, because yeah. those are different plastics, but 
there is jerkins, there is different ones. Mm. So we have to to make it to make them another another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ov obviously, this is environmentally friendly because you do get a lot of plastics being thrown. Yeah. But it's, this is a creative way to utilize it and make art. So I love it. Yeah, you can make art in different plastics. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, it's. It's it, it 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 doesn't have guarantee. Yeah. Yeah. You can you you can use it in, to make another thing. I mean. I love it. I love it. Loving this place. Wow. Hmm. It is the sum of this one. And that's just another one. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it. So. Is it normal, like obviously now because of COVID times, it's um, not as busy, but I'm sure like before, many people like were coming and things like that. Yeah, we do, uh, we, we got many tourists and uh, other people like local ones. Yeah, they used to come here and chill here, uh, especially on Friday. Okay. We had an uh, explosion. Uh, it's it's a party. We do have dancers, traditional dancers. And oh wow! Uh, oh, he out here. Yeah, every oh, nice. Friday. Oh wow! But obviously yeah, we because used of to COVID. Do it. Yeah. But hopefully, think you know, if COVID sort of sorts itself out, then you know that can resume. But let people know about you know your different social media platforms. You know, if people want to know more about your work, where can they find you? Uh, on Instagram, we used Intruder Arts. Even on Facebook. And uh, we do have a website, www.intruderarts.com. Okay, fantastic. And what yeah. about your work specifically? Do you have Instagram? Yeah, I do have it. Uh, my name is m.busaisabel. Yep. Okay, and that's that's your Instagram? Yeah, my okay. Instagram. Go follow her on Instagram, guys. She's doing an amazing job. So let us see a bit of your work. Uh, my work? Yeah. Um, I made this one. Okay. Uh, There's my painting. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's nice. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I I do have some in craft shop. Yes. This, yeah. They let's same. go have a look. There is two main things here. Uh, this is a craft shop, and uh, it's it's a gift shop too, because there is some pieces of random you can get to your friend or someone else. Oh, nice. This is nice. Thank you. So, um, tell me a bit more about, because um, I think I spoke, speak, spoke to Oda yesterday and he mm -hmm. was talking about how, like, um, they normally have like a club for the young people. Yeah, uh, yeah we do have a club uh, for young people. Uh, we try to help them. Uh, they are dancers. Yeah, they, they dance traditional dance. And uh, we help them to go to school, uh, some things like that. And uh, we do have try, uh, we do have um, help them to 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 learn how to dance, traditional dancing, just showing people our culture. Yes. Yeah, that's how you used it. And oh, wow. um, so the, you know, this um, in Shuti Art Gallery is also having an community impact as well which is great that's something that i really admire about this place oh nice uh, i made even this one uh, those carpets oh wow can we take it out and have a look yep okay let's have a look i used fabrics oh wow yeah wow, I love it. so this is all made from this is a carpet yeah it's and a it's carpet. all made from fabric yeah wow different pieces of fabric yeah is nice and i made some with threads too but uh, with what sorry with threads ah yeah love it and how much is something like this Fifty thousand. Oh, this is nice this is really nice oh wow okay fold it <laughs> and how long did that take you to do <laughs> Uh, it takes me two weeks. Oh wow, that's a long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to probably put it down and then come back to it, do other things. Yeah, it's not easy to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. Wow. And uh, here I made, uh, I made those batteries. Mm. Yeah, those ones made in threads too. 
So, oh nice. Oh, so you like threads like around the bottle. Yeah. Nice. And obviously you have to be creative with it as well, look. Yeah, uh, many people try to use it in decorations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. It's nice. Wow. I like this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you got your inspiration from local artists as well as well as YouTube. Yeah. Fantastic. So, you know, what would you say to like young women who have ideas but don't know where to start or don't believe in themselves? Um, yeah, they have to learn. They have to learn, first of all. Uh, they have to think about what they're going to do. And uh, they don't have to give up they have to try everything <laughs> oh wow wow oh thank you so you've heard it from isabel a very inspirational young designer up and coming here in rwanda so watch out for her follow her social media spaces yeah more fantastic things to come i think thank you too yeah thank you so much <laughs> so here we have like a tree house um i've been told you can take your pillows and cushions and things like that and just come and chill here it's really nice being you know connected to nature this is really nice i love it so yeah here you can put your pillows or your cushions and really get comfortable guys if you're ever in rwanda or specifically in the northern province here in musanzi come and visit in shuti art gallery How do I get down? <laughs> I have to be so careful.